Um, hi, I'm Maggie Glover, um, and I do campaign marketing and social media marketing for ModCloth.com. ModCloth started in Susan Coger's dorm room at Carnegie Mellon. Um, she had a love for vintage clothing. She turned it into a business, um, and over the past couple years, it's really grown. We still sell vintage clothing. We sell uh, one one-of-a-kind item a day. We also launch maybe 20 vintage inspired items a day as well, so renewable items. Um, so we're growing, we, um, most of our clothing is like indie designers, um, and we have blog posts that range from, um, we have the mod recipes blog posts, we also have a lot of fashion centered blogs. Um, we do a lot of like style inspirations, um, we do kind of scene it style, so um, pictures of people at events, blogger of the moment, so we've been showcasing other bloggers um, that we, you know, that kind of fit in with the mod cloth style, and we've named uh, clothing after. So far, it's just been dresses, but I'm sure that will evolve. We feel like the blog is kind of the story behind the outfit. We like to say, so you know, gr the mod girl goes to mod cloth and buys these items, but the blog kind of gives the rest of the story of what she's doing, where she's going on the weekends. Every Thursday is I Spy Thursday, and this is actually the idea of our photographer, Danielle. We had the idea that we, uh, each week we take a picture, and it's fuzzy or close up, of a current Mod Cloth product. We tweet it at 4 p.m. Eastern, and the fifth person to guess the product wins. That's a big part of the Mod Cloth culture, is we do daily outfit picks here. Um, so it's called Mod Cloth Style Exchange, and it's on Flickr and it's a chance for us to post our pictures of what we're wearing and also for us to see what our customers are wearing. But we've also run contests with the Style Exchange Group as well. We just did one called Wear in the World um, where customers had to wear an outfit of their choosing and they had to write a description of where they were wearing it. So it was really a great way of using social media to find out more about our customers and what they were doing and we really think that it's important to give everyone the chance to kind of be models of our clothing. You know, we do have professional models on the site, but, you know, we think everyone should have the opportunity to see what clothing looks like in all shapes and sizes, so Mod Cloth Style Exchange really helps with that. You know, when you post a pair of sandals that um, maybe are a little, a little offbeat, you know, suddenly you have 200 comments talking about like how crazy these sandals are. It's very surprising and I don't think we realized at first how many people were listening to us or how many people were out there to talk mm -hmm. to. It was great seeing how many people were devoted to blogging and devoted to social media. It was such a fun atmosphere. And it was also nice because at the time, like I said, I didn't know that much. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I used a lot of things in a personal level, but I was just getting into the blog here and I was just like learning how to use it for the business. And it was so nice having so many people that were like helpful. And I didn't feel like dumb because I didn't really know like the terms. Mm -hmm. Like it was a very helpful environment. So that for me was the best part because I felt welcomed and I felt like I could ask like stupid questions. and not getting judged for it. So <laughs> um, there were some great panels though. Um, something that I really took away was the idea of um, needing like a focus for the blog and having an idea of who your audience was. And I think that's something that, you know, we discussed. I remember coming back to work on that Monday and that was something that we talked about was, you know, who is our audience? What should our focus be?